Yo, what's up, guys? I'm so sorry. My, uh, I don't know what happened. I don't, I know it's not the internet for sure. Like, I know for a fact it's not the internet. Um, but it just, for some reason, the stream went down. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Uh, let me see if everything is just good right now. Give me one second. Yo, I, I, I honestly, I really don't know. My internet is all fine, but for some reason, like, for some reason, the, the connection went down. And I know that YouTube has been having problems lately. Like yesterday, they had uh, the whole, ch like, the whole platform just, like, plummet for a few minutes. Like, what was it for, like, 30, 30 minutes, I think? What's was 30 minutes, 45 minutes? That was something I haven't seen in a while, so... Uh, yeah, YouTube been YouTube been really bad lately. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, guys. I really hope um, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, um, right now, what, like nine minutes left. And uh, right now, I'm just focusing on my work right now. Just trying to do as much as I can here um, on other things uh, while I wait for this. And, you know, I'm just joining. You guys can join me in waiting uh, to do all this. Um, but yeah, that's basically the plan. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? I'm back. Uh, what are your thoughts on Demon Souls? I've never played the game. What is your opinion? I'm thinking about getting. I'm not sure. You should get it, dude. You should really get that. Uh, you should really get Demon Souls, um, because it honestly, I, I, if I'm if I'm gonna be honest with you, dude, Demon Souls is honestly one of those games that they didn't touch too much on the gameplay and everything but it's one of the best souls games even i mean it's the first one but it's one of the best of those games and it is going to show the power of next gen so i really if you're not into that i get it but i really recommend you going for that dude it's it's honestly it's honestly 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 one of the most amazing games i've ever seen like visually and it's something i just cannot wait to see um but yeah <laughs> that that's basically it um, give me one second. I'm gonna just uh, check around here. What game should I get uh, for the PS5 one day? Any recommendations? Uh, if you're not gonna get, if you're, if you, um, I would say Miles Morales, of course. Um, in the future, I mean, God of War, of course, 2021, you should get Horizon uh, Forbidden West. You should get uh, Demon Souls if you like those type of games. Dude, you should get, honestly, you should get any, all of those games that uh, PS5 are going to show, like, right now. I mean, isn't it, like, around, like, five to seven, five to six exclusives that are going to come out during this launch and then next year? I think that's, that's honestly pretty good. Um, but for now, I would say Demon Souls and Miles Morales at the moment. Um, not Sagboy. I mean, I mean that's just like for, for your family, I guess. Or if you really like those type of games, then cool. Um, but let me see. Uh, so what do you think that would be the graphic limit in video games? Like a game that looks exactly like real life. We probably won't see it this century, though. Um, dude, honestly, the, the amount of graphical improvement from 2013 until now it's on it's honestly immense you've never like it's i've i didn't i, I didn't expect it to be this good you know from ps3 to ps4 at first it was like eh, but then uncharted came out and then uncharted 4 and then the last of us part 2 and then god of war and then spider-man dude those games look so much better than any ps3 game you can ever see you know and that's the thing i feel like this generation um to be exact with you guys has shown that we're kind of getting close to that to almost everything looking real life and that's something that i can't wait for for it to happen you know i really want to see uh, the potential and this this system does have the potential to do that and the cut and yeah so that's basically it uh mika what's up how you doing um marcel naughty dog lost it was three uncharted five or new ip i would say new ip dude I think uh, if they leave The Last of Us Part 2 the way it is, I'm fine with it. I really don't want them to, well, you know, get their hands into it too much. It's one of the most, in my opinion, one of the most perfect uh, franchises out there. And yeah, it does have a lot of hate for The Last of Us Part 2. But honestly, it's one of those games that, it's one of those franchises that you won't ever get in other, I mean, the quality, the 
the cinematics. Gameplay isn't like the best, I guess. But honestly, it's one of those games that, I don't know, it just defi defines a generation. The Last of Us Part 1 defined the last uh, PS3 generation. And, you know, The Last of Us Part 2, uh, I could say al almost did that as well. So, so yeah. Um, Arkham Gaming, it seems like medi medieval games uh, where you're facing off against dragons and other creatures. That sounds cool. I'm a person that really likes the medieval times and I'm probably going to buy it today. Yeah, dude, I would recommend you buying it. Uh, Demon Souls is honestly one of those games that um, if you loved it for the PS3, you're going to love it way, way more now because like the graphical improvement, the remake, dude, it's, it's honestly one of the best looking games I've ever seen. Um, I'm good, Mika. I'm really good. I'm really excited. Four minutes to get my console, <laughs> to get another console. Uh, for the PS5, that's basically what, what we're trying to do right here. Um, uh, but yeah, let me see. Uh, and I'm really happy that you're doing good too. Kaistin, uh, epale, hola, hey, como estas? How you doing, man? Or girl, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How's everyone doing? Let me know. Have you guys all gotten your PS5s? Um, have you gotten your pre-orders? Yes or no? Let me know, because uh, there's a lot of people on Twitter that are saying that they got their PS5s. Um, not some, not not a lot of them, but like you know, a few of them are getting it. A lot of people are complaining that they're not getting it right now. <laughs> um, it's sold out everywhere. I'm trying to get one, dude. Right now, go to Walmart. If you're in the United States, go to Walmart because right now at 12 p yeah 12 p.m. Eastern time, we're basically going to try and get the PS5. That's basically what we're trying to do. So three more minutes, guys. I <laughs> Come on, dude. I, I have to, I, I have all my credit card information like saved up and everything, everything all saved up. All I got to do is just hit two buttons and I'm, and I'm set. That's all I got to do. If that, if I can't get the PS5 now, then man, that's going to show me that, man, these bots are incredible, man. Nope. I can't pre-order. Why, why can't you pre-order? Why not, man? Why not? Why not? And if you guys are looking like hearing clicks, I'm just, you know, doing my other job as well at the same time. Good thing I work from home so I can like do all these things, um, which is not that bad. Oh my God. Two minutes, two minutes. Okay. So let me see. So, 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 so in like a minute, I'm going to go to this screen right here and then keep it there. <laughs> so just give me a second. All right, all right. Theo, I will buy it from the store, but I don't know if there will be any PS5 available until then. Dude, right now they're not gonna be any on the store. I went I went today at 7 a.m. to Walmart. They say they said that they, um, only for pickup and Target as well. Like they're not gonna give they're not gonna sell it to you in the store. Um, probably tomorrow, but honestly, with the demand that the PS5 has, I don't think there's going to be any available tomorrow. So I would say the safe bet is to go right now and try to get your PS5 right now on Walmart if you're here in the United States or in any other, or in any other retailer in the world that you know is telling you, look, you, we're going we're going to do it, you know, right now and order it online. So um, some random guy on Instagram messaged me and he will sell me a PS5 for 200 bucks, bruh, today. All I had to do was give him my credit card information. I didn't buy one off him as he is a scammer. Of course, dude. Like, <laughs> that's like one of the most dumbest scams I've ever heard. Like, oh, just give me your credit card. I'll give, I'll only do it for 200 bucks. Bruh. These people, man. These people are so dumb. Like, they, they could be way more clever to steal information. But nah, man. They're just so, so dumb. Okay, guys. One more minute. Oh my God. Okay. All right. You know what? Give me one second. I'm going to do this here. Let's concentrate to get this PS5, dude. Let's concentrate to get this PS5. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to see the screen right now. Like I, I can't see the chat right now. Um because I'm trying to get Okay. What? 
Where are we stocking our shell? Dude, not even like 10 seconds. What? Dude, not even like 10 seconds and they're, they're gonna say, oh no, you're kidding me. Dude, that's bots right there. You know what? Let's, we we have to go to Twitter right now because I know people are going to be complaining. Like, what the hell was that? Wow. Hey, look at that, dude. <laughs> Love that, dude. Mystic. All right, let's see. Walmart. PS5. Dude, what the hell was that? Yeah, what the fuck is like 12 restocking at three? Like, what the hell? How is this possible, man? Yeah, like zero, 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 one second in sold out. Like, nah, dude, this is, this is, or, or it's fake or these bots already got it, man. Psst, it's incredible. That, you know, what's the funniest thing? This is the, this is the thing, dude. What really, what really pisses me off is that these companies are like, oh, we're going to do it at three and four and five. And then, <laughs> and then the, oh my God. And then these bots already have it set up, dude. It's just, it's so crazy. I know it's these scalpers or it's just these, um, or it's just probably only have like one or two in the Walmarts and that's it. Like just, oh yeah, we're going to have them restocked. We're going to have like five for the whole nation. <laughs> like... Like, this is incredible, dude. Look at that. Look at that. That's insane. How the, yeah, how the hell am I supposed to buy a PS5 if Walmart won't even load? That's incredible, man. Well, we'll have to wait until three, I guess. <laughs> That's incredible, man. I'm sticking to my PS4 until God of War Ragnarok comes out. Did you see that girl on TikTok who, who cooked a steak in a toaster? No, dude. I barely use TikTok. Um, well, I, I used it yesterday a little bit, but not, not that much. I, 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 don't, I don't know what video. So, you know what? If you can, just get a screenshot of that, um, like a screen video shot, and then send it to me on my Twitter. Um, if you guys don't know what my Twitter is, let me show you. That right there, the True AP Gaming. That's my Twitter. That's my Twitter. Dude, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> I'm so mad. How the hell couldn't I get my PS5 like that? Like, it wasn't even like a second later and boom. Psh, that's incredible, dude. Wow. Had it in my cart. I was sitting there one second later. Come on. Close. Damn, dude. That is crazy. Yeah, that's the thing. It was crashing the minute before. Bruh. That is crazy, man. Because they it usually crashes later. Like, just like... What, a few seconds, like 30 seconds later, you know, when you're trying to do it. But that is incredible, man. That is incredible. Nada, man. There's absolutely nothing. That is incredible, man. Wow. <laughs> hey, Walmart, can you get better servers? Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. There, that's what I've been saying. There were some people outside that have been telling me that um, when I got there to Walmart and to Target, they were saying like, oh my God, like these, these sites have been crashing so hard, so hard. And I'm like, dude, like these multi-billion dollar companies do not invest at all, even on their websites, dude. Like they should for these big events or at least put a little bit more service during these events. Like I really don't get it. It's to the point, it's just ridiculous, man. It's so ridiculous. Like I, I, I like you guys were seeing me like literally i i i clicked it once like it was 12 boom refresh done three like not even like what a half second later it refreshes and there's like oh no come back at three 
What? Nah, man, that's... That's jokes, bro. That's dumb. Let me see what people are saying. Damn, sold out in three minutes? Dude, not even sold out in three minutes, dude. Hell no, not three minutes, man. It's literally seconds. Literally seconds. Well, at least we got four chances. Four more chances so we can get it today. Will we stock soon as possible? Yeah, sure. Then sell out like one second. Do they sell out in one second because these guys are like, okay, we have like five consoles, right? We have five consoles and we're going to try to sell it to 200,000 people. Like, <sighs> this is ridiculous, dude. I'm so happy I have the pre-orders, but I'm just so mad that I'm not getting it today. Like, let, let me see. Give me one sec. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to check my deliveries just to see if it's coming today. Just, no, nah, well, I don't know if it's coming today, but let me see. Orders. Yeah, arriving freaking Friday, dude. It's in Indiana at the moment. How? Why, why not today, man? <laughs> why not today, man? I'm going to miss out. I really, 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 really wanted to play it today. But the good thing is I'm getting out of work tomorrow early. Um, so I'm just going to wait for my PS5 tomorrow. Go from there. But if I can get one today, then that will be the plan. True AP Gaming. Is it still available online for me? I refresh tons of times. Let me respond. Wait. Yeah, I'm on Twitter right now. This guy just said this. This is so jokes, dude. Damn, man. But yeah, thank you, Robert. <laughs> thank you for, for showing me. But man, this sucks, dude. This really sucks. I'm going to try a three again and like do, do as much as I can. But for now, look. Ah, this is so dumb. Way of shit. Not even a second, dude. But at least we have, what, a few, few more tries. So eventually we'll have to get it. We have to get it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stream all the way until there. Um, but that, that's basically it. You know what? Let me, let me do something right away. I'm going to see if I can change the title. Stupid thing. Okay. Um. Do here. Everybody getting their playstations, dude. And I'm here, salty as hell, man. <laughs> salty as hell. All right. Give me one second. I should have put it there. I should have put this. Okay. Like these, these are the things that you like the tags and everything so that probably more people can see it. PS5, Walmart, right? PS5, Walmart. Give me one second, guys. This is basically how, like, I, how I do my videos and everything. Let me see PS5. Pre-order. Pre-order. PS5. Let me see. Walmart pre-order. I think that's more than enough. There we go. Okay. And then save. And then let's go back to Twitter. So yeah, let me see. I'm so sorry, it just updated now, it's 3 o'clock, but the weird thing is that I still have in my cart, and when I refresh it, then I disappear, so it does it mean that I can still buy it.
Damn, dude, this sucks, man. I'm so fucking pissed. Three, six, and nine. So pissed, dude. So fucking pissed. Not even like a second later, man. At least, this is the thing. For some reason, it was so much easier to do it when uh, the disaster was happening. Uh, when they um, did the surprise pre-orders. And honestly, I think that was the best thing they've ever done. Like, low-key, that was the best thing they've done. Because these scalpers are so fucking incredible, dude. And these companies are not doing anything for that. Like, they'd rather have all those PlayStations sold right away. Instead of, like, making the PlayStations available for everyone. They don't really care about you. They only care about your money. And that's, I, I know that Walmart, Best Buy, and all those companies are like that. But it really sucks that that has to be the case. And it really sucks that these companies don't, are not, like don't really care about us in that way and they don't you know make these servers or these websites uh manageable <laughs> because it's, it's just incredible man like i not even a second later boom it crashes that's that's something incredible man everybody is so is so pissed and understandably dude like it's it's honestly embarrassing it's honestly very embarrassing that uh that uh walmart and target and all these freaking companies are just just have the worst freaking websites. These are companies that have so much money, dude, and they can do so much. And they don't do crap, man. Um, one of, out of all the complaints for The Last of Us Part 2, which do you disagree with the most? I disagree that it's just a lazy story. Um, just to kill off Joel and stuff like that. I really disagree with that. Uh, you get, you, I mean, I'm not going to talk about it right now. Uh, you guys seen all my other streams and all the videos I've done about it. Um, on my in-depth review and on why it's hated and I explain a little bit why why it's hated in that case But in you know, I think otherwise I really like the game um, But you you know, you guys can go back and watch those videos. So yeah, <laughs> you guys can check it out um, What Ryan Watch Ryan Kai else stupid video. Oh Kennels, I'm, I'm not gonna watch his video. What what did he what did this guy say? I mean, I'm not gonna watch it, but I'm, let me let me see what this guy. No, isn't it RK Outpost? There we go. What video? Amazing sales for Ghost of Shima puts Ghost. That's the thing, man. He's not like. There's over seven to almost eight million players of The Last of Us. And uh, for Ghost of Tsushima, is way less. He's just gonna find anything to like bury the last of. It's just fine. It's how it is, man. Really, it's really how it is. Um, let me see what you guys are saying. Uh, Tommy, Best Buy won't have any PS5s. Nope, they won't. Try Walmart. That's the only place you can get it at the moment. I got my PS5 on Target, and it got back to order. Damn, dude, I'm getting it on Tuesday. Well, that's at least at least you're getting it. There's some people that are getting it canceled, and that's. That's the thing, dude. That's really bad. Hey, yo, AP. Yo, your PS5 will arrive in 2040. <laughs> nah, dude. If it arrives in 2040, I'm... Nah, 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 nah. That's 20 years from now, man. I can't I can't let that happen. Pay anything to get my PS5. Uh, Gerb, yo, what's up, bro? Bucks next. Game of the year, baby. Of course, dude. That's literally the game. That's the game you guys have to, you guys have to play. Butt snacks. But, butt snacks. <laughs> That's an. I don't know, dude. I, I saw reviews of it. I'm not. I'm so happy it's a free game and they're not charging 60 bones for that because that game does not look like a $60 game <laughs> at all. Um, but yeah, you know, it's not. It ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. Um, damn, a lot of people really don't like The Last of Us Part 2. Yeah, dude. A lot of people. There's people that dedicate themselves just to hate the game and I'm. I, 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 don't, I don't go for that. I don't understand it. Um, it's fine that you have your opinions for The Last of Us, but it's just too much. It's, it's too much to that point. Uh, do sales really matter at the end of the day? I mean, maybe for the company, but not for people. Actually, I'm not sure. Um, well, for him, for that guy, for some reason, he um, loves the idea of Ghost of Tsushima being, you know, a more profitable game than The Last of Us Part 2, which is not the case. Um, and that's okay. That's his opinion. Uh, 
I know these people are just anti SGW people that really, really find any reason to talk smack about anything to get those views. And I get it. What can you do about it? That's how these people are. Uh, you, if you don't like those people, just avoid them. Don't watch their videos. Don't support them because that's going to give them more, more wings and more, more, more of an ability to, to keep spreading their toxic natures and negativity. And that's why I don't watch their videos. Um, there's people that talk to talk to me, talk to me about them, but nah, I, I don't, I don't go for that. I don't really go for that. Um, did you watch the video of Game Donkey? The dude is hilarious, dude. That video was hilarious, dude. He, oh my god, I love that man. Like, even if he didn't like The Last of Us Part Two and he made fun of it, I would laugh my ass off because that. <laughs> <laughs> that video was amazing. That video was incredible. I loved it. I loved it. It was so nice. Uh, AP, PS5 is too old gen for me. I went for the future and got the PS100. Damn, dude. Isn't that like what? A thousand years from now? Because, you know, PlayStation 5s. No, every PlayStation comes out, what, every seven to ten years? Damn, dude. Travel too far, bro. <laughs> He says they shipped 4 million copies instead of 4 million sold. Fuck that. <laughs> like, he, he's the type of person that, you know, is like, look. Uh, somebody gives you proof. Look, um, here's $100 in my wallet. Count it. You can count it. And he's like, no, no, I don't believe in it. Why? Because I don't want to believe in it. Because I have an agenda against you. Like that's the type of person. Like it doesn't matter how many, how much proof you put under onto their face, they'll find anything to twist it and get those views. Because you know that's that's what they want. That's fine. That's that's them. But I don't really care that much. Um, I very disagree with the out of character complaints. Yeah, same here. I wonder if Walmart's gonna keep doing the daily ba doing this on a daily basis. I don't think they are. I think it's just for today, and probably tomorrow. Um, but I don't think it's going to be that much like that. Uh, do you think I should switch from Xbox to PlayStation? Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, um, I would say, in my opinion, you know, there, I, I know there's a lot of people that like Xbox, and that's okay. You know, I, that's okay, but. In my opinion, for this generation, the way to go is to probably go for a powerful PC and a PlayStation 5. Or if not, a PC, uh, a PlayStation 5. Why? Because you're going to have guaranteed exclusives. It's a powerful machine, and it shows that the difference between the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 isn't that much. Like, if you guys watch Digital Foundry, and you watch their videos com um, basically comparing the PlayStation 5 and the, and the Xbox Series X on how they run the games, they're basically similar. And sometimes even the PlayStation 5 surpasses a little bit on performance-wise for the Xbox Series X, which is which is insane, honestly. It's, I mean, I don't know. I, I'd rather have the PlayStation 5 because I know that Sony are going to guarantee, they already, they guaranteed with last generation, uh, that they're going to, you know, give us those games that we want. And we're all, we're going to get around, like, what, six to seven games from now to 2021. Something that, at the moment, for Xbox, we have Halo Infinite. And it's not a game that it looks good right now, at the moment. And it's probably not... I mean, they lost a director and everything. And at the moment, just... Yeah, they, had, they bought Bethesda. They bought all those other franchises. But, you know, it's going to take some time to get those games to release and to actually play them. So if you if you really want to invest in a console at this moment, I would say the PlayStation 5 is going to be the best bet. And then later on, you can get an Xbox Series X, which basically is what I'm gonna try to do. If not, I'm just gonna upgrade my PC to an RTX 3080 and uh, play all the Xbox games there and they're going to look and run way better there. So that's basically the plan. Uh, but I would recommend you going for the PS5 at this moment because at least you're going to get guaranteed good games with xbox it's not you know um it's not gonna happen for any time soon which is a shame um let's just hope they you know they can pick it up soon <laughs> did you hear the reviews i don't know if you're going to get this game but did you hear the bad reviews of godfall it's not very good and i found out that it's a time exclusive um it's a p it's pc um and playstation i don't i didn't know i don't know if it's for xbox as well 
uh, but I'm not getting Godfall. I'll, I've never been interested in that, and I always predicted it in my mind that it was going to be like around a 60 type rated game or a 70 maximum. It wasn't going to be like a nice 10 out of 10 game or 9 out of 10 game. I, I know for a fact that it wasn't ever going to be like that. And, you know, I, it's not a game that I really am interested in. I don't, I, I really don't know anything about that game. Um, and I guess it's just, I guess it, it, they just, you know, I guess they just never interested, never interested in me at all. Uh, yep, I'm switching. Yeah, dude. Yeah, go for it. I, I honestly would recommend you getting the PlayStation 5. I mean, it's, it's a nice console um, and it's powerful enough to compete with the Xbox Series X. At the same time, people are trying to claim that is like the Xbox Series X is like the most powerful console, way above the PlayStation 5. But it shows that that's not the case. I mean, both consoles are great, um, but one has more games um, to show for, and the other one doesn't. And that's the shameful reality. I mean, I'm not hating on anything. I'm just putting the facts out. And you know, I'd rather go for what you know gives me games. If Xbox gave me Spider-Man, Uncharted, or The Last of Us uh what are their exclusives uh god of war uh horizon zero dawn dude i would be xbox 100 percent. you know that's that's basic that's me um but i'm a gamer i like to play games and if a system is not giving me games and I'm, it's just going to collect dust i'm not going to waste 500 dollars. and for now i'm not going to do it you know if i want to play xbox games i'm just going to get an xbox controller put, hook it up to my pc my pc at the moment is powerful enough to play those games Dude, I really, I mean, that's, that's, that's all right. I mean, I don't have to add an Xbox. That's waste of space as well. Like I'm just going to make, I'm just going to have way too many stuff here in my, in my office. And that's, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not going to do that. Um, it's coming on Xbox next year. Godfall is then why is it a time exclusive? Oh, I didn't know that. I might never, never interested in me. So I never knew that. Uh, can you watch Donkey's new video on The Last of Us unless you already watched it? It was five days ago. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I Right now, I'm finishing just some stuff from work. That's why I'm just doing this. Um, so basically, yeah. Uh, let me just check what people are saying on Twitter. Because I know people are blowing up. They were contacting you on your... But you know that you may not receive this day and they released to high demand. Oof. Damn. That means we're probably not going to get it today as as well. That sucks, dude. That really, really sucks. I really want... That's the thing. If, if I can't get it for today, I'm not going to bother. I'll just wait for my other two systems. And they're going to... My two systems, the PlayStation is going to come tomorrow. And then my brother's PlayStation is probably going to come next week, if not this Saturday. Like, it's that crazy. Like, they're like, oh, it's going to come probably Saturday. Or it's going to come next week. And I'm like, damn, <laughs> I really wanted it today, but you can't do anything about it. Give me one second, guys, because I'm just going to clock out for, for a moment. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, let me, yeah, let me watch Dunkey's video then. I love that video. He's nice. Donkey. The Last of Us. All right. Give me one second. I'm gonna put my headphones on. Well, let's just let's just react to this, I guess. Uh, it's sad that toxic people are usually more subs. In my experience, you deserve more subs, dude. Yo, thank you so much, man. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's how it is because the thing is that you know. Entertainment wise, people are looking for drama. People are looking for things like that. And I get it. I, I get it 100%. There's people, you know, they want to, they want to over be over dramatic about certain things. And I, I completely understand it's, but it's sad. It's really sad to see that, you know, people are like that. Um, I mean, you can't do anything about it, but that's how it is, man. That's really how it is. Um, let me see. Uh, what am I what I'm doing right now is I'm plugging it and throwing that thing in the box. What you mean? I just made a video of the future gate box. <laughs> uh, Gerb, I mean, have you seen the act man's review of the Xbox series X? Because it's pretty fire. I did. And honestly, I like it. 
I, I really liked his review. That's the thing. I, I really want to get an Xbox, but uh, at the moment, uh, I really don't want to waste too much money. And I've already did. Like, I have my OLED TV, like, right here. Um, I'm getting my PlayStation 5. I'm getting a few games. That's over, like, $2,000 spent, dude. <laughs> like, that, like, that's that's so much money, dude. That's so much money that I've been saving for so long. And it's all gone in, like, a few days, you know? Um, that's a lot of money, man. It hurts my wallet because that's like over two thousand dollars. I got my OLED TV, man, because I needed it for the PlayStation Five, um, and my PlayStation Five and all those games. Jesus, that's money that goes away right away. <laughs> um, I mean, Xbox is doing quite well in a lot of the regards, especially with Game Pass, but they don't have good ass exclusives. That's that's my point. I mean, Xbox, it's good. The marketing has been fantastic. Honestly, it's been one of the best marketing strategies I've seen. Uh, they've been so communicative with the fans and everything. They've been so transparent. That's amazing. Like Sony are the type of like, like they're the, they're the type of person. They're not the type of person. They're the type of company that just like, they know you're going to go and get their systems because where else are you going to play? spider-man where else are you going to play god of war where else are you going to play uncharted and all those games where else are you going to play games that are gen like defining the generations and everything uh so they already know that you're going to come back and that's the thing like right now playstation is dominating so um in that in that regard because there's a lot of people more people that re you know really like it uh, i gotta go into the car yo bye mika thank you so much for coming into the stream take care uh, I'll, I'll keep streaming honestly uh today uh, until I get my PS5, probably. Uh, so that's going to be a long ass time. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Samuel, are you going to get the Cyberpunk 2077? Uh, uh, <laughs> Cyberpunk I am actually. Um, and I'm I'm still debating if I'm going to get it digitally or if I'm going to get it uh, physically. Because I my brother, my brother's like, what, 14 years old? So my, par my parents, for some reason, they don't let him play M games still. You know, M rated games. So uh, I was thinking about like uh, buying it digital digitally so he can also play it. So my parents don't have to like buy it for him and um, uh, or just physically and just not let him play. <laughs> so I'll, I don't know. You guys choose. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm still debating if physically or digitally. But I'm for sure pre-ordering it. Uh, be careful. Gay box fans are coming. Uh. I would say fanboys, not not all the fans. Uh, there's a lot of Xbox fans that are good in the mind. They understand. They uh, they're good. They're good, <laughs> but not not all of them. Uh, the fanboys are the ones that are the really bad ones. PlayStation fanboys as well. Like they they're just annoying and toxic as well. Uh, I was not very interested in Godfall, but it's something like Warframe. How I look at it, do you agree? It looks similar. It does look similar, um, but. I rather honestly, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I'd rather play Warframe because it's free. <laughs> so I'd rather go for that. Um, should I refresh my screen at three or wait until the? You have to refresh it. You have to refresh it at least a second before. No, not a second before. When the moment it, it starts, like, like, refresh the page and go in right away. Try to do that because if not, you're not gonna get it. Like I, not even like two seconds later, boom all sold out like it's impossible like that dude like that was that was so bad uh nico you're 14 yo i didn't know that bro did you get it rager no nah, i didn't get it bro right uh rager the gamer i didn't get it bro i mean i got my pre-order for target uh on september and i'm gonna get my playstation tomorrow but i wanted to get one for today uh so i can pick it up today um but we'll have to see dude but for now mm -mm. I'm a PS fan, but I believe that Xbox is going to have good games for the upcoming gen. Microsoft is preparing for this gen. That's what I hope, dude. I really hope that if they don't have any games at the moment, that at least two years from now, they can start releasing bangers. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. I really want a Microsoft to do well because I want to consume their product as well. I like their controller. I like the Xbox. It's just all that power is going nowhere. And I really, 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 really want to see them take advantage of it. I mean, I'm a gamer at the end of the day. I really don't care about the systems. I really don't care about, you know, you know, worshiping a piece of plastic. That's not me. Um, I like 
the games. And if they can give me good games, then that's all I want. Uh, just because you're buying promising studios doesn't guarantee you good games. That is true as well. That is true as well. That that's the that's the thing. Like if this at the end of the day, when you're when you're when you are um spending your money on a PlayStation 5, you know where you're gonna get, right? So it gives you that sense of security. With Xbox, it's more of like an investment because you have to, I mean, you know that the games are there. You know that they have the studios, but you have to see if they can actually manage it and pump those games that are generation defining, I guess, that that moves the industry forward like PlayStation games have been doing for the longest time. Um, and that's the thing. If they can actually do that, then I'm all I'm all on board. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people start buying more Xboxes. Yo, Walmart just died. <laughs> but we have three more tries. Yeah. Walmart died a long time ago, dude. It died like a second later. A second later, dude. Uh, that I refreshed the page and tried to get my PlayStation. But nah. Why did it sign us out? Wait, what do you, what do you mean that it... Who signed you out? What, Walmart? That's weird. I'm not signed out. Okay. Uh, did you hear that Phil said the most of their console player base only plays on their console and their PC gamers only play on PC and he also regrets making the Xbox a way of switching platforms? He said that? I uh, show if you can go on my Twitter, show me that article. I want to see. Cause I, I, it's hard to believe that the CEO of Xbox would say that. Cause that's bad rep. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see that. If you can prove it to me, I'll, I'll for sure look at it. Uh, what do you think that will happen in um, God of War Ragnarok? Sorry if my English isn't the best, dude. My English isn't the best as well. <laughs> I can't speak, and I, I was born in the United States, and I can't speak English or Spanish or anything. We're good, bro. We're good. We're all imperfect. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, did Walmart sign you out of your account once it hit twelve? Mine did. No, nah, it didn't. Mine, my look. If you guys can see. I'm still, you see right here, we're all Gucci. We're still good. Um, I was using the Walmart app at 1.11.59, uh, signed in, refreshed the page, and was signed out. Don't do it on your phones. Uh, on your phones, it's, uh, it's worse. To do, don't do it on your phones. I, I was thinking about doing it, but th the phones have a big latency compared to the websites. Um. Like compared to what like doing on your computer, it has a bigger latency. So it, it, for sure, you're not going to get your PS5 like that. Uh, maybe if Sony owns Rockstar Games, it will be over. It's not. That's not going to happen. Look, let me see how much is so Sony is worth. I wish it was the case um, that they can buy it out, but I don't see that. Sony worth 2020. They're worth around 45 to 70 billion dollars, right? Microsoft was worth a trillion dollars, so 7.5 billion dollars spent on Bethesda, that's fine. But if if they spend, let's say, well, how, how much is Rockstar worth? Rockstar. 3.5 billion, that's a lot of money for one developer. I don't think they're doing that. That's a lot of money. Like they, they spent two, what, 200 million on Insomniac. Um, and that's the most I probably they're going to go like that's two, that, that like $3.5 billion is way too much money uh, for Sony. Sony is not like that, like Microsoft. Microsoft is a trillion dollar company. Um, but if they do that, if they buy Rockstar Games, then that's a big statement. Uh, we must watch the video first, though. The donkey video. I'll, I'll watch it. Just give me a second. Uh, gotta use my Mac next time. Your Mac? Oh, your Mac. Your Mac. Okay. What time is it down in your area? 
uh, Etika forever. Uh, it, right now it's 12.35 p.m. Um, that's basically me at the moment. Uh, let me connect my headphones here so I can hear the video because I really want to see it as well. All right. Okay, cool. All right, I don't know if you guys are hearing it. There is 2001 and gamers are angry. One of All their right. favorite franchises has swerved in a new artistic direction. The problem with the game is very clear. The graphics are terrible. The graphics are so bad in fact that they completely ruin the game. This game was The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. <laughs> Thankfully, gamers were never wrong again. Today, I'm going to be discussing The Last of Us 2 with some of the greatest minds of the YouTube comment section. For the safety of the viewers, I feel I need to warn you guys that I'm sorting comments by new, so please be careful watching this. Now, when I reviewed Last of Us 2, I rattled the monkey cage pretty good. This is my most disliked video ever, which is a little weird to me. I've been talking shit on beloved games for years, and people have been getting pissed off at me for years, but it wasn't until until I actually liked the game that people really started freaking out. I am Monkey God, along with 300 other people, calls me a sellout. What is my response? Well, Monkey God, I love you, but you are one stupid motherfucker. First things first, you need to realize who you are talking to. It's me, baby. Video game donkey, remember? The guy who self-destructed his sponsorship with Microsoft when I couldn't even pay my rent? If I was a sellout, you know what I would do? I would read the room, go, oh look, everyone hates this game, and pander to fucking idiots. I am not here to regurgitate your opinion. I am here to make the videos I want to make, even if it pisses off some baboon brain, dumbass little bitch like you our next comment is from jerome's he I says you're like stupid there now jerome's go. makes an excellent point here i am kind of stupid when you think about it although he did put the wrong your i don't even understand what this person is trying to even type i don't know oh i love comment sections like in, the, in youtube joel wouldn't be so stupid to tell a random arm posse is suspiciously chilling outside of their wait one second did you get the ps5 from walmart i didn't dude shamefully uh, I'm still waiting for all of this, so we're just passing time, I guess, <laughs> watching this video. Stronghold, his name and what he's doing. Okay, so here is someone making an argument instead of whining like a little baby. I've seen a lot of people share the sentiment that it's completely out of character for Joel to die how he does, which is kind of funny to me because to me the most jarring, most bizarre part of this game was where Joel busts in with a guitar and starts playing a song and singing. This is not what Joel does. He, he doesn't do this. Now the Joel I know just kind of stands around and grunts. And when he goes somewhere new, he goes, man, this place smells like a goddamn Cheeto factory and then he sees a dude <laughs> limping along asking for help he goes that guy ain't even hurt <laughs> joel fucking sees tommy goes sure. hell that ain't even real tommy <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, that's the Joel from the oh, beginning man. of the original game. When we first played as him, he was an empty husk of a person that is just going through the motions, and over the duration of the first game, we gradually see him transform back into an actual human being with a newfound sense of purpose. The Joel we see in Last of Us 2 no longer is it his gut reaction to run everybody over in a truck because he traded his truck for a horse, and in the end, it's some dumb, incidental slip up that gets him killed. Christopher says, this story was terrible. Now Christopher makes an excellent point here, but I actually disagree. Monster Hunter World, Doom Eternal, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Devil May Cry 5, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Gears of War 5, Pokemon Sword, Far Cry 5, Wolfenstein 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man, Horizon Zero Dawn. I've played all of these games, and some of them are actually good games, but now I am going to recount everything I remember about the story to these games. In Doom, you go to hell. I can tell you characters from these games, like the funny Yoda and the talking chicken, but I can't actually recall specific story beats. You know, these stories, they left such little impact on me. Now, Last of Us 2, I can tell you what happened in that game. Some crazy ass shit. So let's just start here. 
Last of Us 2 is a good story because it's memorable and dramatic. It's not an untouchable masterpiece, it's not perfect, it's just a good, entertaining story. I went into this game already knowing that Joel would die, and yet when it happened, I was still absolutely floored. This is such a brutal, horrific scene, and really, it's Ashley Johnson's performance as Ellie that sells it. They are killing off our favorite guy yep. from Last of Us. This is the appropriate reaction. Compare this to Final Fantasy VII Remake, where Jesse... Hey, what's up, Angel? No, I don't give a shit about Jesse. She Saludos desde Mexico. Everybody say hi to Angel. He's really from Mexico. Thank you for coming to the chat, bro. Eat. Right Saludos. when she's about to die, he goes, you owe me a pizza. When Jesse dies, I go, okay, whatever. When Joel gets killed off, I am sitting here like, holy shit. I am emotionally affected by this, and now the rules are off the table. Anything can happen from here on out. I love when a story can actually surprise me and veer into unknown territory. I am so burnt out on formulaic bullshit stories, so when something crazy happens in a video game, I am here going, hell yeah. Now Ellie has to go to outer space to fight aliens or some shit. Man, this is the first time I've disagreed with Dunkey. Wow, this game sucks. But also, I've never played this game before or the first one. Here's a comment from Hideo Kojima. He says, don't listen to him, y'all. He didn't like, get Kojima, get out of here. You don't make this game. Donkey is an idiot. Too popular and has lost any sort of credibility when it comes to reviews. People don't know why they hate it, except countless four-hour reviews breaking down everything that makes the game bad with far better reasoning than anything in this video. Now, this comment is actually a masterpiece. He's mad that I said people don't know why they're mad. But at the same time, he still doesn't understand why he's mad. He references some mystery four-hour video. He doesn't know what the video was called, and he can't name a single point from the video. <sighs> There are smart, that, that's, level headed that's, that's people me, with honestly. functioning brains who don't like The Last of Us 2 for valid reasons. And this is not one of them. I'll tell you why we're mad, Donkey. Thank you, Big Boss. Here we go. The world of Last of Us is not advanced in the slightest. Nothing happens. It's nothing more than a revenge narrative, and it feels lazy like it could happen to anyone in Last of Us Part 2. But Last of Us Part 1, that story, was Ellie and Joel to experience. And given all of this, and Cuckman's reputation for being a male feminist, the fact that Abby kills Joel when she is strongly implied to a transgender, it feels like Cuckman was pushing an agenda. Big Boss, I just want to thank you for finally making me understand why people hate this game so much. Tiger Sushi asks, what was more that was one of the most stupidest comments one. honestly i had the opposite feeling that it was very one note compared to the original well tiger sushi to me the original game is zombie up am i wrong Dude it sold out and walmart crashed at the same time too <laughs> and he meets a torpy little kid and the old guy's like damn this kid is annoying then they go on an adventure and eventually the old guy goes hey this kid ain't so bad after all last of us 2 does not remind me of any pixar movies i can't name a single video game where you stop halfway and play as the villain for the rest of the game to me that was a really creative move the first game is more predictable but has more consistent characters second game is like a roller coaster thrill ride with characters that are borderline schizophrenic now here's a genius guy zero mention of all the sjw trash pushed on us people love the first game because it's not political in any way at all <clears throat> now stay with me it gets better did the first game mention anyone's <laughs> sexual orientation at all apart from the trash dlc the answer is no how you guys don't see that is beyond me What's great about these comments is that this is a man who is so convinced that he is correct, but turns out is 100% factually incorrect. Bill from the original game was gay. He the was game gay. points out several times that Bill is gay. Doc Holliday, you are a bonobo ape. Ed Dyer <laughs> says Fallout 76 was a better experience than Last oh, of Us man. Part 2. Last of Us haters, this Damn. game is on your side. So if you want to come over to my side now, no one will judge you. People can have different opinions, they, and I respect yours. That was one of the... Uh, Wait, what the fuck? Is this still YouTube comments? But killing off the best character in the game and then making you play as the scumbag who killed him for 20 hours is terrible game design. Damn, 20 hours? This is a, lo this is a loaded comment. The relationship between Joel and Ellie defined the original game, just as its absence defines the sequel. You do still have some parts with Joel, like the museum sequel, which is one of my favorite parts of the whole game but yeah this is a sad game and you really do come to miss that character dynamic 
Then there's Abby. The biggest trick of this game was to make Abby work as a character. How do you humanize her without hamming it up and turning her into a hero? Oh look, it's Abby's dad. What a great guy. He saves Z. Also, on he's gonna Best cut a little kid's brain out. Wait, what do you, what do you mean? I, I, went, I went to Best Buy. Never mind, Joel shot her dad. I went to Best Buy. As someone who's never played Fallout, but that's a <laughs> Yeah, dude. And that's why she's evil now, but she's not evil because she loves Owen, but she doesn't give a fuck about Owen. She just wants to kill Joel. But look, she pets a doggy until she throws his ball over the fence. <laughs> there are sympathetic things about her and horrible, oh, repugnant things about her, and you just kind of sit on this moral teeter-totter. You fight this fucker zombie monster in the basement. You walk on a balancing beam between skyscrapers. You battle through this nightmare inferno. You end up going through so much stuff as Abby just to save these kids that eventually I went damn after all we've been through everything that I've done <laughs> it can't be for nothing I'm Tommy from the last of us too I get shot in a temple by a magic bullet that performs surgery on me off screen <laughs> does he really get shot in the head okay I can explain this Tommy is actually a character from Call of Duty Black Ops 4, where it takes four headshots to kill someone. <laughs> Last of yeah. Us 2 is a game that takes itself super seriously, so when it makes goofy mistakes, they stick out like a sore thumb. The main thing that bothers me is how characters can now teleport. In the original game, it is a major pain in the ass to get anywhere. I mean, that was the whole plot of the game. And this one, right off the bat, Abby and her friends traveled 900 miles through a zombie apocalypse to investigate a rumor of a guy that might be somewhere then ellie teleports to seattle then she teleports to wyoming then she teleports to california the story is designed to be this horrific train wreck but it does lean on contrivance a little too hard this makes me wonder if you played the first game whether or not you did you still seem restarted <laughs> you, you misspelled retarded <laughs> the classic move. Oh, this game is just revenge bad, hammered over and over again. I really don't think this game Bruh. or the original are about trying to hammer home some profound message. The f that that's the that's the thing that really pisses me off. It's not revenge is bad. It it's literally about how revenge can consume you and create and and, and make you become someone. That you're not. Ellie is not who Ellie is in this game. She's not the lovable girl that we like. She became disgusting. She became exactly like Joel. But at the same time, it's all about forgiveness. And all about, at the end of the day, love. Because love and hatred are kind of like the emotions that are together. So if something major happens to like the people that you love and care about, this hate becomes big to the point where it can transform you into somebody that you're not. And that's honestly what basically it is. It's, it's, it's a, these two stories are about love. One is about how you become to love someone. And the other one is how love can basically make you become someone completely different. I mean, that's just me. I don't know. I don't know if that's, uh, that's me. But it's not just like, oh, revenge is bad. And this is a story to teach you. No, it's not a story to teach you. It's a story to just show as much as realistic characters as possible in a world like The Last of Us, in a world that is like that, and to show you how everything you do affects the lives of others. It's not just a lesson. It's just, it shows you in a, let's say, in a more realistic manner that, you know, it's, it's just like Neil Druckmann said, there's, some, there's certain things that can only be told in video games. And I 100% believe that this story was the only, the only way this story could be told is, is via video games. So, you know, that's, that's just me. Fun of these games to me is trying to unravel and figure out these characters. And I feel like a lot of the best characterization in this game went completely unnoticed. When you're playing as Ellie, you have all of these flashbacks to Joel where we find out the Firefly incident is driving a wedge between them. Ellie starts drifting away from Joel more and more until she finds out what really happened and cuts ties with him entirely. So when Joel gets killed, it dawns on Ellie that she wasted those few remaining years she had left with Joel, ignoring and resenting him. Guilt, 
This is what drives Ellie's revenge story. Later at the farm, Tommy comes to visit Ellie. He is just this broken man, physically and mentally, with his brother's death weighing so heavily over him. He knows Ellie still wants revenge, and he desperately tries to guilt her into pursuing Abby again because he can't. This is such a sickening, disturbing, and powerful scene acted and written to perfection. I do think Last of Us 2 is largely a condemnation of violence, but not in a cheesy, one-dimensional way. The game wants you to feel bad for what you've done, but it also wants to piss you off. It wants to fill you with hate and says, here you go, dude, shoot these dickheads that killed Joel with a dynamite arrow. The Last of Us 2 is support the homosexual. That's why I'm not play it. So if anyone wants to jump over to my side, you cannot make the player. Hey, for the people in the, in the video that I made, The Last of Us Part 2, why is The Last of Us Part 2 hated? If people can actually, oh my God, if people really are going to come and tell me, oh, hey, yo, um, no, this game is hated um, not because of, you know, some homophobics or just people, not homophobics, but like some people that just um, don't accept um, that people are homosexuals or anything like that or that they included that in the game. If people are really going to tell me that that's not a, another big reason why people hate the game, then come on. I mean, you, you must be blind because my comment section is just filled with literally those type of comments and other videos as well. So it's just feel guilt for their actions if they didn't have the ability to choose something other than violence. This is true. It's against the gamer rules to do this, just like how you can't be sad when Arthur Morgan dies because you didn't choose that. I don't disagree that you can make the player feel a more pronounced sense of guilt when it was a decision that they made. Yoga Jake talks about this a lot in his recent video, but I also think this dichotomy between the player and the character is one of the most interesting parts of this game. There are tons of games where the main character is just a vessel for the player, but here they have their own volition. When we start as Ellie, I am right there with her going, hell yeah, they killed Joel. Let's get these sons of bitches. And I shoot tons of people and it's fun because shooting video games are fun. And as it goes, her mission gets more and more depraved until she becomes the villain of the story. It's a game where the more you win, the worse things get. And I can understand why that would cause a disconnect, but I thought it was brilliant. I did feel bad for some of the things I did in this game, even if I was just following orders. This is what I love about Donkey. Even though the game does not have Donkey, Donkey Kong, he still gave it a 4 out of 5. Truly an unbiased game critic. Thank you, Sig. I do try to be as fair as I can, even to these smaller budget games where they can't afford to bring in Donkey Kong. My whole issue is the ending, oh, man. which Donkey just Kong. throws away the point of the whole game. Literally tracked Abby through states with revenge as an intent, but just because she got a little kid, she gets to live. One second. Stock Informer Discord, trust me. Let me see. The first game had a little bit of that too. So I mean, how anger makes you lose everything. Yeah. Dude, anger makes you lose everything. I'm telling you. I've almost lost a lot of things because of my anger issues that I had way back in the past. And I'm so much better now. I'm so happy that, you know, little by little, I've become a better person in that way. And uh, it really does. It really does hit a toll. Uh, bro, PS5 launch day in Canada. My man, you gotta do... Do... You got to do stock informer. What do you mean stock informer? What is that? Stock informer PS5. That, <laughs> that is incredible. Bro, that is so okay. I'm going to I'm going to use this. Thank you. Um that's incredible. It's like, "Hey, yay. We got it on eBay." Fuck no. Hell no. Mm -mm. Alright. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it there. And then we'll just continue watching this video. Uh Last of Us Part 2 representation perspective. Heroes for us, maybe villains for others. Exactly. Yeah. Good way to see it. Uh just it's good to way to play see it. golf another day. Alright, Weaver, you wanna go there? You wanna go there? The ending to this game is probably the most controversial part of it, which is saying a lot. Ellie sacrificed so much to get to this moment and kill so many people, only to change her mind at the last second. Kind of like that one dude did in that PS3 game. I think it was called uh, The Last Donut. Now, when this happened, I went, <laughs> what the 
Fuck, I felt robbed. Even though I no longer wanted to kill Abby, it seemed like that was the inevitable conclusion to this story. If Naughty Dog really wanted to nail home this message of hate spawning hate, Ellie would kill Abby. Thematically, that is the more appropriate ending. However, I like the real ending more. This is a depressing game released in a miserable year. Can we not just have one optimistic little blip? Lev saves Abby who spares Ellie who ultimately saves both of their lives. Ellie remembers her final conversation with Joel was a good one and says fuck it. Why she spares Abby is left so extremely ambiguous it could be interpreted forever. But I think these guys hit the nail on the head. Pearl Jam is the key to all of this. At the start of the game, me and Ellie were synced up. We wanted the same thing, but then she starts drifting away from Joel, from Dina, and the player. She becomes this unrecognizable monster who has lost so much of her own identity that killing Abby no longer means anything. I like what this guy says too when Ellie goes, No, oh, let's take him. She's not talking about Liv. When she returns home, Ellie can no longer play Joel's guitar, which helped her keep his memory alive. You could see this as a cruel twist of fate, but now that those memories can fade away, Ellie can move on and hopefully live the life Joel would have wanted for her. Ladies and gentlemen, Obi Kenobi from Star Trek. He says, I love how Dunky showed us the metric <laughs> score to attempt to prove a point. Show us the user scores too. So Obi-Wan's getting a little bit senile in his old age, but just for you Obi-Wan, I am now going to read some Metacritic user reviews. Here we go. Just no, not worth playing, not fun, not, I love these Metacritic not interesting reviews. interesting or exciting. Naughty Dog's Downfall. One of the most meh games I ever played, written by a soy boy that ruined Naughty Dog as a company. No more likable characters because of reasons you can view in other comments. This is an incredible masterpiece, a must to play. The baddest game in history. This game must be the game that can enter the list of games I don't like. Trash Agenda, this could be a great game, but Anita had to add Polico Gina Agenda. I gotta play a- Bruh, whoever says that Anita Sarkeesian is involved in this thing, when Neil Druckmann and Anita Sarkeesian herself basically said that they had absolutely no inspiration, no nothing to do with The Last of Us. Nothing, nothing. And then these people are still talking about that. That's incredible. And how fake news can spread so fast. It, it really hurts. It really hurts just to see that. You honestly have to be so stupid to still believe those things when there's so much proof out there but just like uh, a lot of articles have been saying a lot like about fake news fake news travels six times faster than real news and that's how it is because drama is just what drives all these things and all these people to do what they do but it, it's a sad reality but we just have to be informed that's it a story-based game with a shit story that it's my fault because I'm a homophobe? Seriously, Days Gone did a way better job than this. Shit. I guess Obi-Wan was right. But now, just to be safe, let's look at the reviews for a good game like Days Gone. The story is very emotional and smart. Deep story with awesome graphics. This I loved Days Gone, and I'll defend it until the end, but a game that makes you basically get into the game 10 to 15 hours later and you're gonna tell me that story was formulated and way better than the last of us continue this game, it's a masterpiece storytelling. The story and characters are top notch, and at times I even felt emotion. Storytelling is so good that I thought I was dreaming. Good storyline, not like shitty The Last of Us 2. Deep storyline with white, straight protagonist. Damn. Well, it looks like the storyline with white, straight protagonist. I'm gonna keep it right there. If people, if people really are trying to hide the fact that there are people that really do not like <clears throat> having white protagonists taken out of their games and, you know, like replaced with a woman or in this case, a lesbian woman or a black guy or a black girl. There are people like this. I mean, there are people like this, man. And it's incredible. It's incredible how, how it's incredible how many people are like this in the world.
Yes. Damn. Well, it looks like the people have spoken. The Last of Us 2 is a terrible 3 out of 10 story. Meanwhile, Days Gone is an 8 out of 10 masterpiece of storytelling. Now, Polly, play the clip of Days Gone. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back. I love this. But only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. The story is the best ever. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. That, that's, that's something. Okay, guys. I know you guys are Last of Us fans. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. That, that's what literally... You can ride me if you've promised to ride me as much as you ride your bike. Dude, isn't isn't it the other way around? Like the woman rides the guy? Or am I missing something? Like <laughs> I'm probably missing something right now. Oh my god. Okay. Um have you guys seen this video? The uh Nakey Jakey. I love Nakey Jakey. Even though him uh my opinion and his opinion aren't in the same like i do understand why uh he doesn't like completely the game but i do like it a lot i don't know if you guys want to watch it because i i really liked his video even though you know it, it goes you know it, it's not like completely what we like and stuff because we like the last of us probably he doesn't like it that much but i love this video yeah i saw i saw it completely and i was I, I was actually seeing it for a second time and it's a really good video i really like it it's funny. I don't know if you guys want to see it. Yo, well, at the moment, we're just waiting until three for Walmart. That's it. You know what? I'll put it on. Heard of prior to. The Last of Us Part 2 has made me feel like an insane person for the last couple months. Not necessarily just because of the game itself, no, uh, but because of all the cat piss surrounding it. These two frequently extreme camps of Hey. This game is a profound 10 out of 10 masterpiece work of art that belongs in the goddamn Smithsonian and Camp B. This game broke into my house, it bonked me on my forehead and physically assaulted me. <laughs> this video belongs to neither the extreme opinion oh, of man. 10 out of 10 masterpiece or I'm gonna commit a crime now. So if that's what you're looking for, there are plenty of other dog shit extreme videos on this website that can satisfy that hunger. Trust me, they have existed since long before the game yep here we go let, let, let's go let's go let's go pathetic I, dude yes or no these guys are incredible griffin gaming a person that only plays on pc talking about the game just for you know review for the views this guy i, lo I love amazing lucas i like the guy because he he sometimes comes with facts but jesus christ sometimes he has opinions that are just <sighs> You know? <laughs> uh, I don't know this guy at all. Hate geeks and gamers. I really, really despise his videos. Really despise his videos. Continue. Game even actually came out. Even though I've always been aware of some of their shortcomings and faults, Naughty Dog's games have consistently provided me with quality entertainment, visual spectacle, and comfort for the past 13 years since I first rented Uncharted 1 at a Hollywood video, and even longer if you count their PS2 and PS1 games. The first Last of Us is one of my favorite games ever, and I also personally know people that worked on both Part 1 and Part 2 that I am very fond of and very proud of because they crunched like a billion dog years a week to make a thing that looks like this you know who you are and i wish i could come to la and kiss you on your forehead and i just think it's really important for you to know all that context of me being a pretty big fan of naughty dog before i say what i'm unfortunately about to say i think that while extremely beautiful technically impressive and wonderfully accessible the last of us part two is a game that attempts to say a lot of things and ask a lot of questions using the medium of video games, but ultimately remarkably fails to find the language to say much at all, while also being an often outdated and hypocritical parody of itself. I think much like how Red Dead Redemption 2 was the straw to break the- So, in this case, I, I, I don't agree with him. You know, I don't agree with him 100, um, at all in that case, 
uh, because I don't, I don't know. I saw the story in a different way. He's he likes games that are more of, how can I say it? There are games that are not going to exist for a long time. Like you know, that gives you control um, about what you're going to do and stuff. And he's the type of person that is more of a gameplay type of person instead of like Naughty Dog games that are more cinematic. Um, and as a story, as a cinematic story, it's a good game. It's a good game. But in his case, for what he likes, of course, he's not going to like it 100%. Wait, more Donkey? Okay, you know what? I know you guys want Donkey. Okay, okay. Let, let's, let's just watch another one of his videos. Because I, I guess this video is too much. One second. Here I am with Legend of Zelda Pro Skate. I love. Uh, there's what video did it? Oh, okay. Have you guys seen this video? This video cracked me up. Come on, Tsushima. The story of Uchitsune awaits. <laughs> Come, my lord. The story of Uchitsune awaits. <laughs> Go. Kill them all. <laughs> Bruh. I've seen you, Jimbo. Okay. okay. This man just headshot me while he was looking at something else. Look at this. We must deal with Tomoe's threat against Yoshi Springs before it's too late. I don't understand the fixation on the town. I was born there. Get him. Get him. One more try. One more try. You got. One more try. You got this. Try one more. One more. One more shot. There you go. You got him. I am Kotan. Cousin of Kublai, grandson of Genghis, uncle of Mingus. I found a haiku <laughs> rock. Here we go. Hold our two to compose haiku. Bro, he grilled that. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely thinking river. Definitely thinking river on this haiku. The tree was funny. The river was good graphics. <laughs> Paulo, would you care to join me for a cup of tea? Yo, what's up, Safa? Tea. Please, this way. Listen, lady, I only drink brisk, so you better have some. The fuck? Tea. An iron hook with a rope attached. Uh, to I haven't got my PS5 yet. I'm still waiting for it. Swing over things. It'll hold my weight. You know I what? Give me one second, guys. I call it that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it's downstairs, just to see. It's perfect. I'll climb. I'll leave the video for the you wall. guys. How? Are you half monkey? No, I'm full donkey. Horse. Pig. The horse will save you. Here we go. This is how to win. Jin, my message to the Shogun included an announcement. Pikmin 4 is now cancelled. What you gonna do? Beat my ass. <laughs> Alright. Fight's over. I'm on the ladder. Okay. Fight me, bring some it's rings. Still, still. Like fire. Still in oh, transit. God. In a situation like this, I'm gonna have to utilize the classic samurai technology of the plasma grenade from Halo. There we go. Go off! There. What? <laughs> I'm gonna have to this game now. Next what? Game, bring, uh, turn that is so funny. Wow, that was funny. I didn't, I didn't see, I didn't remember that part. Damn. Wait, wait, what is this comment say? And this garbage game is the best selling of the year. Ha ha ha. What? What is this guy doing? Let me see. Of course. Ah, these people, dude. Come, my lord. The story of Uchitsune awaits. All right. Um, guys, I think I'm going to go right now to Best Buy and get 
my uh my uh what's it called my games uh demon souls and spider-man miles morales so i don't know if you guys want me to do uh, can you check out amazing lucas unboxing ps5 yeah uh i'll you know what i'll do that when i come back um i'll do another stream um so yeah just literally oh man all these people do Ah, these people, man, they already have their freaking PS5s. Um, I'm going to go and get the games uh, from, from what's it called? From uh, Best Buy. I'll do an unboxing. Do you guys want me to do an unboxing video or do you guys want me to do the stream? I think a stream is just more easier. And I'll just show it to you guys like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me see what you guys are saying here. Um. <coughs> After ordering it online, do you pick it up from the store or do you deliver? If they only give you the option to deliver it, then they are, they're going to deliver it to your store, to your house. Uh, but if they give you the option to pick it up from the store, you can go and pick it up from the store. Did you know, did you know that you can call people on here? Mm, I'm actually going to do a call in very soon. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to. Open up probably a WhatsApp or a Skype so you guys can call in uh, and we can chat. Uh, was Walmart bad? Bro, like literally a second later, boom, no games. <laughs> um, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to end the stream right now. Uh, and I'll do another stream for the unboxing video uh, for Demon Souls and for Miles Morales. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to try later on again for the Walmart at 3 o'clock um and i'll start doing a stream as soon as i can so guys take care uh stay tuned for that and stay tuned for the notifications subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified on my future videos do that for me guys you guys are amazing i'll see you guys in probably well like 10 20 minutes probably uh so yeah peace out guys